may have gotten a little extra jolt out of bed this morning. I know I did. And we were in the middle of a weather segment here on KOCO when Daniel Dozier felt the earthquake. Take a look at this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. This is live on air. That was way bigger than what we just huge. felt earlier. That was well over 4.0 magnitude. She was right. KOCO's Kim Passoff has been looking into the series of quakes we had this morning. Joins us now live tonight with more. Kim? Yeah, Danielle got it right. It was a 4.2 magnitude center near Jones. And while no major damage was reported, the constant shaking in Oklahoma is causing cracks like this one throughout homes. And it seems that these earthquakes are becoming part of daily life. I think we're getting ready for a big one. That was the prediction Nancy Kowal made last year when a 3.7 quake rattled her Spencer home. That's 2011 and then 2012. She's recorded every quake she's felt starting back in 2011. That includes the 5.6 quake in Shawnee, the largest ever recorded in Oklahoma. But for Kowal, this morning's 4.2 quake was worse. I just heard a roar, and then the house started just shaking like mad. And I thought, oh no, it's going to cause damage this time. But uh, that's the first time one has actually scared me. She hasn't found damage in her home, but fears it's only a matter of time. And then you wonder, you know, well, is the house going to stay here? When we first spoke with Kowal back in November, she recorded 24 quakes. In eight months, that number has doubled. The 4.2 quake this morning was the 50th quake she's felt. What do you think about all this, all of these quakes? Well, one of two things. Either it's all the fracking that they're doing, or uh, God's trying to get our attention. And if the constant shaking has your attention, you can attend an earthquake town hall that's going to be next Thursday, June 26th at 7 p.m. at Waterloo Road Baptist Church in Edmond. Live in Northeast Oklahoma City, Kim Passoff, KOCO.